Some very sad news coming out of South Carolina as an elementary school teacher pronounced dead at the age of 42. We're going to get into all these uh, very tragic details here, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Also, very important, you please share the video, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Laura Moberly. She was an elementary school teacher for Carolina Forest Elementary School. Uh, she had been in her position since 2018. She had sadly passed away at the age of 42, but it's not just her. Um, and that's just what makes this even worse. It's already bad enough if you lose somebody uh, in this particular instance that occurred. But when you also involve children, uh, it just makes it even harder. In addition to Laura Moberly being pronounced dead, her two children, Eric, age 11, and daughter Emily, age 8, also pronounced dead as well. As a report goes, it was on Wednesday afternoon, August 31st, that a welfare check was called out to the home of Laura Moberly. Apparently, somebody had heard gunshots. Uh, once police arrived to the scene, they had knocked on the door. Uh, nobody had answered. There was no response. Uh, they had entered in to find all three had suffered gunshot wounds. Now, it's important to note that this is still under investigation right now. At the time that I am recording this video, uh, there has not yet uh, been um, a statement, a conclusion as to what happened here. I don't know if this is domestic related, if this was, uh, you know, somebody here in the family that did this. I, I, I have, we have no idea at this time, but there's a lot of speculation that's, you know, going on here right now. And of course that information will be revealed uh, once police and investigators have more information. Uh, but all three uh, were uh, hours later after this took place were pronounced uh, dead. And this comes as quite a shock. You know, Laura Moberly, uh, somebody who worked as a reading loss interventionist for the Carolina Forest Elementary School, again, since 2018, uh, the district released a statement on this, the school released a statement, just noting that they were absolutely horrified by this news they could not believe it i mean you got a a brand new school year you know uh kicking off and and this sort of thing takes place and happens and you know i'll, I'll put some images down below in the description and this is uh these were photos from uh laura's facebook page of her and her kids uh it's absolutely just heartbreaking and look and again you know i want to say this because we don't know again we don't we do not know the cause here or, or how this happened. But I, I always bring this up. Whenever I cover a story like this, it's important to know that it is rooted in evil. Okay. No matter the motive. Okay. It is rooted in evil. The Bible says that in the last days that men's hearts would be fixated upon evil continually. And, you know, with a lot of speculation about it being, you know, domestic related, again, we, we do not know, but this is evil. What is the goal of Satan? It is to steal, kill, and destroy. And a family was destroyed in this case. And it's heartbreaking. And they're going to need a lot of prayer. And I want to encourage everybody right now, uh, to lift them up, to lift Laura's family up, you know, extended family. You know, police are still notifying family members right now that we're not even, you know, aware that this had occurred. So they're still being made known of it. And also for those at the school, you know, Laura's daughter, Emily, was, was at the same school with her at Carolina Forest while you know, her son attended a different school. And, you know, it leaves quite an impact. You know, imagine... All the lives that you know Laura had touched by the work that she did as a reading loss a reading loss interventionist and helping kids in this area that's something that will be tremendously missed and look I want to end this on a positive note something that I do on all my videos here you know 
it's getting people to Jesus Christ in these last days. You know, you want to make sure, even in tragedies like this, that no matter how you leave this world, that when you do, you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. See, this life doesn't have to be it for you. There is more beyond this. You can be in paradise. You can be in heaven with the Lord. And that's a hope that all of us have. All we have to do is accept the free gift of salvation and acknowledgement of God sending his son Jesus Christ to die on that cross for us. And I'd like to lead you in this prayer right now. If you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into your life, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to do just that. It's a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news, though, is this, and I, I alluded to it here a minute ago, that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. What does repent mean? To turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry you know, and then just jump right back in your old ways. It means to turn from those lifestyles, those habits, those things which are not of the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, guys, I will have uh, more information on this for you in the description. Uh, prayers going out uh, to the entire Moberly family, uh, everybody at, at the school, that God would be just with all of you and give you peace and comfort at this time. I welcome anybody who knew Laura. If you'd like to leave any thoughts about her, uh, any words for the family, uh, please feel free to do so in the comment section. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.